Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to split a list into evenly sized chunks so guys this python program will help you to split a given list into multiple list with mentioned number of elements so guys let us check this with the help of examples we are going to see two approaches the first approach will be using the yield keyword and then the second approach will be using the numpy module so guys let us move to the vs code over here the very first approach is the yield method so what we will do is first of all we will define the list that is list 1 it is equal to we will have 10 elements over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then the last element that is 10 over here now guys we want to display this list in the chunks of 2 that is 1 2 should be present in one list and then another list must have 3 4 and then another list must have 5 6 and so on there must be 5 individual list having all these elements over here so guys we will define the chunk size over here so chunk underscore size it is equal to 2 for now and then simply we can have the print statement which will call a method which we are going to define so guys let us say we have the split method over here being defined so we have the def keyword followed by split in this case it takes two parameters the first parameter will be the list itself which will be passed over here and the second parameter it will be chunk size that will be passed to this function so guys let's say we define it as chunk size over here then guys what will happen is inside this we are going to use the for loop and we will go through the elements of the list so over here we say for i in we will say range it will go from 0 up to the length of this list so we use the len method followed by list 1 which is the list that is being passed to the split method over here and then guys the third parameter we can have the step parameter over here as you can see and the step parameter must be the chunk size in this case so whatever chunk size that we define that must be the step in this case now guys what we can simply do is we can use the yield keyword so guys this yield keyword will help us in order to return certain elements from this list now how the elements must be returned in this case we can simply use the list one over here and then we can use the list slicing in this case so guys when we use slicing we have to provide the start and the end indices from where the list elements must be included so starting we will have i as the start index followed by colon and then we can have the i plus chunk size this time so over here we have chunk size in this case so guys what exactly is happening over here is first time the value of i is zero so it will go from zero up to to i plus chunk size which means i plus 2 which is equal to 2 so over here 0 and 1 that is the first two elements will be returned next time when i is equal to 2 since the step value is 2 right now so 2 and then 2 plus 2 will be 4 so 2 comma 3 indices which means 3 and 4 will be returned and so on with a chunk size of 2 all the elements will be returned one at a time so guys over here simply inside the print statement we need to call the split method and convert it into the list so over here we say list first of all and inside this we call the split method and this split method takes two parameters that is list one and the chunk size so those things we are going to pass so we say list one over here comma chunk size in this case so guys this is the method that will help us in order to split the elements of the list into the chunk size that is being mentioned over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have got the five list inside the entire list over here it says one two in one list then we have three four five six seven eight and then nine ten so guys that's because we have provided the chunk size of two what happens when we provide the chunk size of four in this case so over here let's say when we provide the chunk size of four so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have got 1 2 3 4 as one list and then we have 5 6 7 8 as another list and only two elements that is 9 and 10 in the last list over here that's because there are no more elements in this case in the original list let us say when we say chunk size of 5 so there must be two lists that we must get over here 
1 to 5 will be first list and then 6 to 10 will be another list so let me just run this code once again so as you can see we have got two lists over here 1 2 3 4 5 and then we have got 6 7 8 9 10 as well now guys let us see another easy approach that is using numpy we can easily split the given list over here so what we will do is simply i'll just remove these lines of code over here now before using the numpy module we need to check whether it is already present in your installation folder so basically we can simply use the pip keyword followed by list over here on the terminal when we press enter as you can see we will get the list of all the modules that are being currently installed so i have already installed numpy over here on my machine that is why i am getting this numpy and this is the version you might get some other version based on the date and time when you are practicing this program so guys if you have not found numpy as a package in this list then you can simply use the pip keyword followed by install and then simply you can provide numpy and then when you press enter the numpy module will be installed on your computer so currently since i have already installed it on my computer it is asking me to upgrade it to the latest version so guys the important thing is numpy module must be installed on your machine so what we can do is simply we can import the numpy module and use it in order to split the elements of the list so over here we can simply have the import keyword followed by numpy and then we can use the as keyword followed by np so this np will be used as a shorthand method in order to refer to this numpy module and then guys what we can do is let's say we have this same list that is list 1 it is equal to and then we have the elements that is 1 up to 10 so we have all the elements that is starting from 1 up to 10 over here and then by simply we can have the print statement so inside the print statement what we will do is we will use the np that is the numpy module followed by dot and then we have something called as array split over here so when we type array followed by underscore and then we have split so as you can see this is the method that we can use in order to split the list into the chunk size so basically this method will take two parameters the very first parameter will be the list that is list one over here so we provide list one followed by comma and then as you can see it is asking for the chunk size that is what is the shape that you want the list one to be distributed so basically let's say we provide the chunk size as two in this case so guys this is a very simple line of code in order to split the list one into the chunk size that is being mentioned to this array split method that is present inside the numpy module so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have got two arrays over here that is first array is one two three four five and then the second array is six seven eight nine ten so guys basically the second parameter is the shape that that means how many number of arrays we want to split this original array into so let's say i want this original array to be split into five arrays so when we say five as the size over here let me just run this code once again so we have got five arrays that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten what if we provide the number four in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have got array one two three then we have four five six and then we have 7 8 9 10 so guys basically the number of elements were automatically adjusted based on the number of arrays or number of lists that we want to split the original list into so guys this is the functionality of the array split that you can use using the numpy module as well please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to convert a string to a float or integer so stay tuned